wars, you it is about it's, if, you know if you go to war, you're killing people that you've never met. Just think about that. You're killing people that you've never met, either on the ground with a machine gun, from the air, you're dropping bombs on people. You've never met these people, children, innocent children, people. The majority of people that are killed in wars are innocent people. Um, if it was just fighting on a battlefield, your soldiers against their soldiers, um, it's to me it's that's still crazy, but it's more understandable. Your soldiers against their soldiers on a field, um, you know, I think it's insane, but you can kind of understand that a bit more, but. Killing innocent people, um, there's no excuses. Now, if you were to go in, in everyday life, if you were to walk down the street and kill somebody, you'd go to prison for murder, because it'd be murder. But if you do it wearing a uniform, following your government, you won't go to prison. Um, you'll probably get a medal from the Queen. You'll win, a, you'll win an award for being a hero, because automatically every soldier that puts on a uniform becomes a hero these days you know it's and I'm not criticizing like I said I'm not criticizing a military because I understand the concept behind it that we, we have a right to defend our country I understand that but a lot of times soldiers are invading other countries they are it's about money there's a lot more to wars than people realize um, Obviously, if you're if you've got an interest in, in wars, you'll know this already. But I think there's a there's a, a lot of people out there that read a headline in a newspaper and um, they'll believe that's the truth, or they'll put on the news, the the corporate, the mainstream media. They'll you know they'll put the news on and they don't really understand wars because they're not they're not really explained to people. Um, but wars are about getting getting hold of resources they're getting it's it's politics um, it's not about it's it's not about freedom it's always you know but even if we look back to World War two because um, I keep in keeping with what I was talking about you know it's 70 years since the um, dropping of the um, atomic bomb if we look back to um, World War two, Adolf Hitler came to power um, and people were obedient to him. They were willing to, to do what he said, you know, the, the, the way the, the Holocaust and all the rest of it um, through obedience. But Adolf Hitler only came to power because Germany was on its knees. After World War I, Germany was kind of economically, it was, it was you know, decimated and Adolf Hitler was a... Was a um, he promised a lot of things, didn't he? And he promised to get Germany back on its feet, really, economically speaking. Um, but nothing good comes from wars, you know. We had World War One, and then World War Two, twenty years later, was was really a continuation of World War One. So, not to, good things don't come out of wars. It just um, leaves people dead. Um, but yeah, um, but like I say, we, we think of ourselves as civilised and, you know, we, I don't know, we, humanity really, it's, it's well it's, it's the, it is the minority because like I said, no, most people you meet don't want wars, so who are these people who do want wars? It's your government, it's, it's you know, it's Barack Obama, it's David Cameron, it's, um, they're just two, they're just two Western leaders that I'm mentioning, but, um, it's a worldwide problem, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's, um, you know, Islamic terrorism, which has been all stirred up in the Middle East. Um, it's, yeah, it's men. It's usually men. Um, and, of course, um, some women now are kind of, you know, joining the military and they think it's equality because they're, they're copying, the women are copying the worst traits of men, which is like violence. And um, they think, well, we've got equality now because we can, we can go and kill people as well. And, you know, it's... Anyway, that's another argument, but um, it's not cool. We we live in a we do live in a society which is saturated by violence. I mean, um, 
you know, all the Hollywood movies, a lot of Hollywood movies, there's guns. And guns are seen as the solution, aren't they, to your problem in a movie. You've got a gun and it's power and it's macho and it's guys want to, people think it's cool and, you know. Um, but there's far too many of these in this world. That's not real, by the way. It's a plastic gun. You know, I wouldn't own a gun. I wouldn't own one. I wouldn't want one. But um, far too many weapons in this world. And um, there's a very profitable arms trade. There's an arms trade in this world, which is, you know, America's got one, Russia's got one, United Kingdom, I think France, Germany. You know, there's a lot of countries have got an arms trade, and it's really, it makes a lot of money. And the, these people will sell to anyone and they, they claim that they won't, that they're ethical and all that. But how can you be ethical if you're selling weapons that kill people? What does a weapon do? What does a weapon do? It's got no purpose. It, they kill kill people, you know. Um, we have evil weapons that, we've, that are out there. and They have arm shows and they're very proud and they stand on their stand and they, they're selling all these weapons. and it's They're going to end up killing people. Um, it's not something to be proud of doing, working for the arms trade. is not something that's cool. But um, I think people are exposed to it. I know, I the, I know the American culture is um, very militaristic in that. And I, and I feel sorry for, you know, the children that are exposed to this, this militarism. And um, it's everywhere, I'm saturated with it. Um, but it's not just America, you know, it's not, I'm not just... It's, it's it's a problem. It's a problem in the world, and 2015. I don't really see much improvement. There's a lot of wars going on, and it's you can forget that because I'm living in England, and at the moment it's yeah, it's a pretty easy life um, compared to Libya, Iraq, Afghanistan, loads of countries that are you just you wouldn't realise what's going on. It's um, through wars, um, but yeah, I don't know what else to say really, but thanks for watching.